The mainstay of acute migraine treatment you know, for the last two decades has been the trip dance, but the trip dance have a number of issues that can make them difficult to use. Um, cardiovascular risk factors, um, they're not efficacious in everybody. Some of the side effects can be intolerable, such as dizziness and drowsiness and chest pressure and flushing. Uh, but despite these these issues, you know, trip dance have been a, a tremendous benefit for our headache patients, uh, and it brought a lot of value. With the introduction of the G-Pants and specifically Ubrajapant, we now have a treatment option that has far fewer adverse events. The tolerability profile is very much like the placebo arm. Um, very few issues uh, of concern. So now when we look at this equation of, of how patients could judge using a medicine, patients look at the uh, efficacy, but they also need the tolerability. And so the combination of those two things really produces an effective treatment. And, and I think that's a better measure for us to look at. Certainly in clinical trials, we always look at efficacy separating from placebo as the outcome measure. But effectiveness is what we need to look at in a real world setting. Now, when the, a new treatment like this comes to market, the first question people are thinking about is, well, if a patient has failed on a, on a trip down, would this even add any additional benefit? You know, why would this now work if the trip down hadn't? And there are many reasons to expect that it would work because it's a different mechanism of action. Now, triptans work on the serotonin receptors, the 5-HD1B and 1D, and they serotonin agonists on those receptors. And the 1Bs are predominantly on blood vessels, and the 1Ds are predominantly on the nerve ending. And so the triptan narrows the, the blood vessel caliber and it decreases the nerve ending from secreting its neuropeptides like CGRP. The, the G-pants and Ubrojapan specifically binds to the CGRP receptor. So after the trigeminal nerve has released CGRP, Ubrojapan is going to bind to that receptor and prevent CGRP from reaching it. And if those receptors are on the blood vessels, it will prevent vasodilatation. So it is the same pathway, but it's different components of the pathway that are being um, involved in the mechanism of action. So we looked at a, a subpopulation that had uh, come into the Ubrajapan trials and had uh, not done well with trip dance. Either they had developed adverse events, like we mentioned the list, or they didn't have the efficacy. In other words, uh, the migraine continued. It didn't abate at two hours, or they had a contraindication. Maybe they had cardiovascular disease that prohibited the use of a tryptan. And we looked at that subpopulation and compared it um, to the, the population that was doing well on tryptans and uh, looked at how they fared with ubrojapant. And there really was no difference. In other words, the failure to respond to a tryptan did not in any way predict a failure to respond to Ubrajapant. And so these different mechanisms of action are actually important. And you can hit the pathway at different levels and still get a clinical effect.